Hi everybody, Debbie here. Welcome back to my Crafty Den. I haven't been on here very often for the last three weeks. Um, missing in action. As I explained in my last video, we have been house shopping, purchased a house, closed it, did all this in a month, and the house is two provinces over. So yeah, it's been a crazy and hectic three weeks, but I haven't been doing a bunch of um, filming. Yeah, no time for that. So I did decide that because I'm at the new house currently, and we are in New Brunswick here in Ontario at home. Um, and it's, it's not like just an hour drive to get here. So we stayed for, I think we'll, by the time we leave on Wednesday, we'll have been here for six days. And because I've done that and haven't been filming, I thought maybe I would just do a flip through of my classic sized happy planner and kind of show you how I've made the transition transition sorry from the vertical columns to the dashboard layout and it was a bit of a learning curve I I wasn't sure at first I was really kind of positive that this was going to be my layout it just seemed to be perfect um, but I wasn't quite sure how to tackle it. So let's get started. So this actually starts in July. And so for the month of July, all I did was use some pen and kind of pre-plan the month. Then I just stuck a couple of pieces of paper on here and planned with pen. So I was just kind of figuring out what would go on each page because they have the seven days on this page and you have the kind of list columns on this page, which is really different, really, really different. This week I didn't plan at all. Um, I basically wrote, just jotted down a few things and then didn't do much. So then this week, which is the week from July 15th to the 21st, I actually started doing a little bit of planning. So I used that ooh -la, la paper pad and I put this really pretty little um, French lady on the bicycle and to give me a jumping off point. And then I used some coordinating florals and I used my classic size hole punch for my planner, you know, the Mandy punch. I used that for the smaller bits of paper. And then I just filled in with some uh, Happy Planner stickers. And so that worked out okay. And then this week, I loved this week. This week was so much fun. And this week was a combination of Etsy stickers, some scrapbooking paper, um, a little bit of the happy planner stickers and it was just but i decided that i did it. this is how i was going to plan and it kind of it just worked into itself so i haven't been using kits at all in this planner like i haven't got any etsy kits i've got the odd functional stickers you can see from august that i still haven't figured out what i'm going to do with this page but I did pre-plan for the month of August using Etsy stickers and, or not Etsy set stickers, um, Happy Planner stickers. These are from the Happy Planner uh, value pack books and just loved using them. And then this is a combination of some Victoria Thatcher free printables and some crafting paper. Um, some, you know, the, the 12 by 12 paper pads. Those paper pads are phenomenal. So I cut out, I fussy cut out the flamingo and used this as a jumping off point because I found these little, let me get in here a little bit. Isn't she adorable? So yeah, that, this is the printable from Victoria Thatcher. I love her printables. And that's as close to using a kit as I came. I used some of the small bits. And these aren't stickers. I didn't print them on sticker paper. I just print them out on my computer and then I use my, um, you know, my, my tape runner 
to stick them in my book. So this ended up being um, last year's calendar from the Dollar Tree. So this, you know how the um, the really pretty calendars have the pictures of what's in the calendar, like the monthly pages. They have the little miniature pictures on the backs. That's what these are. So I cut them out, and because it was a themed calendar, I just cut pieces off the calendar and used it. And because I had these pretty blue crystals, I decided to write in here with my blue pen. I usually use black, but I decided to go with the blue this week. And I'm happy with it. It turned out great. Um, and then Dollar Tree stickers. My goodness. So these squares are actually some um, donut paper from a scrapbooking. I've gone blank. A scrapbooking pad, <laughs> paper pad. And this was a little cut out. And I just added all of these little donuts and stuff like that. And it's a single sheet of stickers from Dollar Tree. So this basically cost me half a sheet of paper and a set of Dollar Tree stickers. So yeah, very nice. And then this one again was a Victoria Thatcher and some it's a combination. So these are Victoria Thatcher free printables, the coffee squares, and the um, the date stickers are from that that same Victoria Thatcher printable, and then some scrapbooking paper and some happy planner stickers. So just loving this, loving the way that it's turning out. I'm so happy with this. And this is this piece of paper right here, this background piece, and a couple of the background pieces in here are just from a sheet of scrapbooking paper that was, I think it's a half a sheet, a leftover, but the color of yellow was perfect for this, and the Victoria Thatcher printables. Um, her printables are, look at this, her printables are just so pretty, and yeah yeah so just cutting them out now once again i don't do this on sticker paper i just use ordinary printer paper to keep my costs down and then i just use a dollar store tape printer so still haven't figured out what to do with this page yeah keep thinking that it's there and i really need to utilize it but not sure if you have any ideas what to put there um yeah let me know so i put down all my September half twos and then I thought this was a really really cute little layout. I used some fall paper um, Scrapbooking paper and then I just added I had a sticker sheet It was gifted to me of these little felt fall animals and thought they were so cute to stick in here So I hope this is giving you some ideas um, you don't have to plan with kids. You don't have to stick to a certain theme. You can do whatever you want. It's your planner. So my next week was this boho theme. And I think this was my favorite layout in the whole, like in the six months that I've been using this. Or five months, I guess, that I've been using this. Um, yeah, this is gorgeous. I decided to use this sheet of scrapbooking paper. Now this butterfly and this, this is all on one sheet. This was one of those big decorative sheets and so, so pretty. So I did that, stuck it in here and then Dollar Tree stickers and it was one boho themed sticker sheet. From the Dollar Tree. So a dollar twenty-five and some paper. Love how cheap it is and how easy it is to plan. I've decided I'm starting to get a little bit more consistent. Let me turn this so it's a little bit straighter. I'm starting to get a little bit more consistent with the way that I'm planning. I'm not used to holding this by hand, so sorry if it's jumping all over the place on you. Hope I don't make you dizzy. But um, this was just some uh, 
what did I put in here? This is basically just stickers from the farmhouse theme happy planner value pack. Um, yeah, that's what these are all just very, very pretty and one little square of paper. So I love this box in this corner here. It's perfect for putting a picture or a quote or this is my jumping off point now. So what I do is I pick a piece that's going to go in this corner. It can be larger than that or smaller than that, right up to the whole page, as you've seen. And then I can use that to coordinate the rest of my stickers and things to go with it. So yeah, just love the way this turned out. And that farmhouse themed sticker book from Happy Planner that uh, that Create 65 is just beautiful, just beautiful. So this again, I didn't even use a bunch of stickers on here. Um, the mermaid theme is all from, you know, the cut apart page in your scrapbooking paper pads. I took the cut apart page. I cut out a bunch of the little squares that were on it, these little bits. And my sun is shining right through. I'm trying to hide from that bright, bright glare on the, from the window. Um, now this is the week that I had to put my kitty down. So... I took a little picture of her and used my sprocket to print it out and stuck it in here. Um, so if you're wondering why this is there, then that's why. It doesn't match, but I didn't care. And in October, I still haven't used this page. So yeah, uh -huh. so added a few things here. It's not overly busy. Um, I didn't really sit down and do a huge pre-plan. I just put a few things in it. This is where life started getting really, really busy. And this one was a really cute spread. And once again, this is pictures from cutout or cutouts. So this piece is the cutout piece. And I just cut them to size for these boxes and then stuck them down and then added my dates. So they went right on top in the ones that I did. And then once again, I used a whole page for this side or a whole um, picture for this side to change the background paper. And I think it's just really pretty. So this one again is some cut aparts. Now I don't think I did plan with me's on any of these. I just kind of did them really quick and wrote in them and yeah this was where we first we started shopping for houses this week and we started we'd been looking online and things life just got like uber busy here so for halloween which is usually my biggest spread of the year i hardly did anything this is the week before halloween i just put some potion bottles and some black and white on here and planned and the same with this i guess that other one's two weeks before this is the week before and I'm packing, I'm doing, I'm working, I'm packing, I'm shopping, I'm doing tons of stuff. And then my Halloween week, I went to my stash and found a little plastic bag from last year that had these little, what are they called? Die cuts. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I've gone through three time changes in the last couple of days and my brain is really foggy. So we drove from Ontario to uh, New Brunswick and when we crossed the border coming into New Brunswick, we lost an hour of time. So because they were an hour earlier here. So we crossed the border and all of a sudden it's an hour later. And um, yeah, so that threw us a teeny tiny bit. And then we closed on the house the next morning. And that night was Halloween. So we had a long day that day. Um, and then 
The next day, the time changed again on us, and it's been crazy, absolutely crazy. So I feel like I've been on a plane and just I'm jumping all over the place. I, I have jet lag. I feel like I have jet lag. Um, yeah, my life has just been crazy. So I all I did was use these little die cuts and a sticker and did a little Halloween spread. So that was it for October and then we hit November and this page is still blank. So I've gone from July to November and I'm not utilizing this page. I'm not sure what to do with it. I would really like to have that figured out by the time I get into January. I think that would be really cool. But yeah, so very little pre-planning in my November because like the house closed, that's Thanksgiving day. I'm on vacation, but it doesn't feel like vacation. We have to leave here. This is here, we have to leave here. Um, I have things planned for when I get home and it's crazy. So yesterday I sat down and I decided that I was gonna get this week's ready. And it's very fall here. There's a little frost this morning. The other day it was actually 18 degrees, but so windy and rainy. Um, yeah, but it's definitely fall, that last bit of fall. And I decided I was going to do a fall plan. Fall is my favorite color theme. So it was pretty nice. So I did this, bare trees, light breeze, colorful leaves, pumpkins, candles, fuzzy socks, early sunsets, warm tea, and big sweaters. And then on this page over here, I just cut apart the other little piece from that same scrapbooking paper and put early sunsets, warm teas, big sweater over on this side, used a couple of little scrapbooking paper pieces and my uh, Mambi punch. And I decided to put a little tip in here. Now, I just put this in here. I just folded a piece of that scrapbooking paper in half, punched it with my just my single hole paper punch, and tipped it in here because I can write things down today and tomorrow now that I need to have. And this will be the little list that I keep for the things that I need to bring back with me on the next trip. So that's what I'm doing. And I feel like I'm home here, but on Wednesday morning, we're leaving to go home. It's just really funny. This house does feel like home though. It is, um, it's very cozy and old fashioned and it's just a sweet little spot. So, yeah, I hope, I hope this gives you some inspiration and uh, shows you what I've been doing in this planner. Um, I really, really, really would love if some people would give me some inspiration on what to do with that currently page, um, this page here. It would be really great. I need some ideas. I can't seem to think of anything that is really consistent that I'd love to put in there. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, um, me sharing my little bit of uh, what I've done in my planner. And um, by all means, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe bat button. I'm going to try to start doing these videos more regularly. And I really have a lot of ideas and things that I want to get to. Hopefully, I will have the time or I have to make the time. So bye-bye for now, everybody. Enjoy your day. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.